Hey guys, um, didn't really write down any scriptures, just going to share with my heart and kind of where I'm at. And it's kind of a current event, I'm not trying to politicize it, honestly, I'm not, it, even though it is going to be. So, um, but anyhow, the reason why I've been praying about this, that I titled this, that I'm not signing another impeachment um, petition, whether it's for Trump or against, or Pelosi or against, I'm bringing my petitions and prayers to God, Jesus and the Holy Ghost and his word. And why it says, he that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say unto the church. So important, guys. But Philippians, I believe it's four. It says, be anxious. I think it's four or three, something like that. <clears throat> Should have looked it up, sorry. <clears throat> but it's in there. Um. Be anxious for nothing, but in all prayer, but, but bring it to the Lord in prayer and supplication and thanksgiving and prayer and supplication. And God will give you the peace that passes all understanding to guard your heart and your mind. That's where we need to be at, guys. The reason why I'm saying this a little political is because, okay. This is what the Lord told me a long time ago. He said, plow right down the middle. I'm a watchman, guys. I can't change that. I'm not going to. I'm not doing it for sensationalism to give you some prophecy that, you know, something's going to happen tomorrow. I'm, I'm on the mountaintop yelling, turn. You know, in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then I'll hear from heaven, humble ourselves. Sometimes we stumble so that he can humble us. He wants us to fall. Guys, fall on his word. What it says in the Bible about if the word falls on us, it's going gonna, it's gonna to crush us. But if we fall on the word, it's salvation. It's change us, guys. That's all I'm saying. Turn. And the reason why it's a little political is because it's time for us to be his voice and not loud and obnoxious and in everybody's face type voice, his feet. But what's he telling you in their secret places? What's he telling you in the word? What's he telling you specifically? Guys, wouldn't you rather... Uh, uh, the, I'll tell you why in a second, why I post all these different things. Just look at my Facebook feed. Wouldn't you rather have someone like Franklin Graham advising the president? Or there's other good preachers and teachers too. You may or may not agree with them doctrinally or whatever. But the Bible says, try the spirit to see if it's the spirit of the Lord. Recently, I posted one about him. Some about him praying for the president. One this morning was about him giving a black woman a house from Samaritan's Purse. I don't, I read it. I don't, I don't see, feel, or any of that, which I call the Hollywood Christianity. I don't see any of that sensationalism in there. It's more was like a healing. Imagine that, an older white preacher giving a black woman a godly black woman, a house. Maybe there's a little reconciliation there, guys. There's a little bit more maybe to the truth of why we, why so many people think it's fake news, guys. Because they don't portray a lot of that stuff. Maybe it's time that you guys really, really dig and show America that you're not just being opinionated and one-sided. And not even, I'm not even talking about sides, but really just, you know, like, Maybe we don't even need to hear those stories too. So, because that's part of what I'm saying about the storm that's coming. It's just so much information overload. I'm not trying to be one more information overload you guys either. <clears throat> Posted this morning the thing about Adam Schiff. Because... Sorry, I gotta get this rid of this email that just came through. Um.
I'm not trying to sensationalize it either. But it's like, man, why won't this dude testify too? That's what they want from President Trump. And I get it. And it, 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 it can go you can either either way, you know. He, he says some stuff on Twitter. Maybe he shouldn't be saying so much stuff. Maybe he shouldn't, you know. But why won't they testify? They're the ringtail leaders of the circus that been, you know, and, and I'm just telling you this, guys, because it's time for us to wake up and maybe see the truth in a lot of this. And, and But how Jesus is seeing it. Pray for these people. That's why I'm saying, you know, maybe it's time for us to be a little bit more involved. The enemy doesn't want us to be involved in stuff because then we get what we got. Five years ago when they legalized same-sex marriages, now look at Man, it's in your face in the church. And if you say anything, YouTube might ban me. Facebook might ban me. Hate crimes. What? Look, this, you know, it's out there, guys. Because we, because the church sat silent. That's what the Lord told me. He said, we've been silent. That's how the abortion issue became an issue. But look at my video on how God sees America concerning abortion. I've saying it for almost three years, two or three years. First part wasn't very good. But the church has dropped the ball, guys. We, as his body. Because we don't want to get involved. It's a little messy and ugly sometimes. But what's he telling you to do? We've been silent and we've been hiding behind inclusion even to the point of delusion. Sin is sin, guys. I'm not picking and magnifying any one more than any other. So I get it. Yeah, that can go down the road of being coming to hate. Sin is sin. Just go to the go to the, pick one. Story of Paul, good example. One day he was Saul, killing Christians, murdering people. Families, and he was having a heyday with that. <clears throat> and the next day he was one. Don't you think that dude had some sin baggage? He was a murderer. But look what the touch of a master's hand did in one moment on his Damascus road to Damascus experience at the start of it. And what he did. And part of his journey. So we can still pray for these other people too, but back to that of why, I'm gonna end with this. Why did, you know, he's been saying for a long time, it's been a witch hunt. Well, could there be something to that guys maybe? Look at the day when the impeachment process started in Congress, not, not started, but the day when they actually pulled the trigger, Halloween. I get it. That's kind of part of the storm that's coming too, guys. And you'll hear it more about it after January, January and February. <clears throat> Just praying about it still too, waiting on the Lord because so I don't have an attitude. But it's a holiday that's not a great holiday, guys. Honestly, when you think about it, we all fun and games and think it's you know there's sides and say hey, it's okay, it's kind of cool. It's just a just it's not. Ask some of these people that are steep in the cult why they do it. So, and I'm going to end with this because, yes, this is political, but what I'm saying is there's a reason, and, I'll, then I'll end, and I will end with two things. One is why I post so much different things on Facebook, and the other one is this. I'm not saying the guy wasn't honorable, James Comey. I'm not saying that. I think he was for the most part. But he made, just like Trump did, just like other presidents have, other leaders, even Congress, making calls, judgment calls. His judgment call was eight days before the election, or whatever it was, before the election, still trashing Hillary about her emails, whether you liked her or didn't like her. I didn't vote for her, guys, honestly, but that's irrelevant. But he, just, it was to save his skin of his job. 
So what I'm what I'm saying, you know, think about it. It really was, you know, he thought he had a better chance with Trump than Hillary because he'd been investigating her for three years. Do you think she would have kept him as a FBI director? Probably not. There's a, there's always more to it. I'm not trying to bury you in stuff and get your mind polluted either. It's time to focus on what he's telling you to do. So what is that? Mine is a watchman and crying out and saying there's a storm coming. I even even told me the date. I didn't do it for the sensationalism, guys. I don't like that stuff. I don't want to be that. But that's what he told me to do. And I'm not done yet, but it's cry between the porch and the altar. It's time for us to repent, guys. Change your ways. Seek his face. What's he telling you to do? Some of, you know, that's why I said maybe it's time to, I would rather have leaders that are godly men and women than I would a bunch of just stuff that's going on. So, and then I'm going to end with this because it goes along with what the Lord told me to do about plowing. I got, man, I was in a Pentecostal movement for a long time, guys. Holiness movement. I had tons of hellfire and brimstone messages, guys. And that's not saying that that's not true. What I'm saying is the Lord told me to plow down the middle. Been in some pretty loose churches too, and moves of God, and supposedly, and just, it's like, man, are you even reading your Bible, guys? Matthew, this is this is this. I'm going to end with these two things actually, but the Facebook one and the YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and all that. I'm like, man, I don't want to do any of this, guys. It's been kind of like almost like sucking up my time. I'll be on Facebook just trying to read an article about something and the screen seems to be getting smaller and smaller and there's less and less of the article and there's pop-ups everywhere and bing, 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 bing. And I'm trying to do something and I, and, and I love the people and, and they're all, almost all of them are really good, but it's like bing, 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 bing. My screen's filled up with people that want to email me and talk to me and it's like, man, I'm just trying to do something and read this article on the screen. I can't even see the screen because it's full of stuff. So it's like, okay, God, so I do, and I want to, that's my heart, but he's plowed on the middle. So, <clears throat> what's he telling you to do, guys? But my, one of my main messages, there's plenty of them, but one of the main messages is, this one's free, but it's coming, I'm going to come out, it's a pretty deep message, guys, but there's more to it than this, but early in the morning one morning and it's there's a lot to this and i will bring this out as a message probably soon now that i'm bringing part of it out but i was praying and the lord said it's time for people in the ministry to get over themselves that hurt kind of god because i minister all the time all over the place but i don't have really have a platform i do one a little bit at a homeless shelter and it's a church and everything but Mine seems to be 7-Eleven, the store, the, probably, you know, the bookstore, the just wherever, different places. And he told me that. He said, that's where he sends me. This happens to be one of them right now, YouTube. But, so it's like, okay, God. But plow down the middle. So that's what I'm doing. Guys, I'm just the watchman. I'm not going to change it. I can't. I've got to do the obedience to the Lord. I've got to do what he's telling me to do, what he's telling my ears to do, what he's telling my spirit to do. That's why all throughout the, 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 the books it says, he that had an ear to hear, let him hear what the spirit has to say into the church. God's talking. Jesus is talking. Holy Ghost is talking. His word's talking. But that's the other part of this storm. And the biggest one of the idols is the self. We're in, we're in the way, guys. So, what's he telling you to do? And what if it is to get involved? Like I said, wouldn't you much rather have presidents, congress, mayors, governors, school board leaders? Wouldn't you rather have them be men and women of judges? Wouldn't you rather have them be men and women of God? So, if it's just in prayer, if it's in fasting, if it's in being his voice, if it's being in getting involved, 
Be careful not to get in the soapbox, too, guys. That's the other side of it. Too, you know, is God really telling you to do that? Are you really listening? Or is it self-willed, motivated by something else? <clears throat> so, I'm, it's me too, guys. I'm not making this up just to say, you know, I'm directional, but I'm not saying, hey, you guys got to do all this stuff, but I'm going to sit in this big purple padded chair with ornate wood in the middle of a $30 billion building up on top of a stage. My message to them is the same too. Move your old bony butt over because I get the big seat too. But it's out of Matthew 20. It's a big piece of it. Read it, guys. Or read Matthew 22 about not listening, taking it lightly. The calls being made. But Matthew 20 is about the equality. And you could be the drunk bum underneath the bridge and have something to say prophetic from God or even just from God. The doorkeeper, a stay-at-home mom, or a senior pastor with a million people in your church. And you don't get anything more than anybody else. There's too much of this great I am mentality, a better than culture. Even the word culture is kind of like, man, think about it, guys. I'm just telling you. I'm the watchman. I'm crying, hey, there's a storm coming. You better get it right. It better be the why. Why are you doing this? Why, 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 why? I'm not picking on him because he's a big name. I'm trying to sensationalize it. He just, you know, he's got a lot of influence. But Franklin Graham, I think a lot of the why he's doing it is from his heart. Honestly. And there's a lot of others, too. I, I don't know them all. I'm not picking on just one. There's some really good teaching and preaching out there. And there's some really foul air messages out there that don't have anything to do with God or the Bible or the Holy Ghost or His Word or Jesus. I'm sorry. But I got to do the same thing you guys do, guys. I got to take it to, take it to Him. That's why your secret place is so most, most is most important. What is he telling you? And then my my other part of my prayer is, we all can do it. I am going to end. My prayer is, man, God, I, some of the stuff you showed me, like the one about the abortion, it was like, I don't want to do it with an attitude. I'm not perfect. I'm trying to strip away <clears throat> me. I'm in the midst of a couple storms. Some of them were created by others, even the enemy. Some of them I created, and, they're, and the one I created is kind of ugly, real ugly. It's like, okay, God, but it's, but it's a cleansing, stripping away, a purification. So um, <clears throat> he has a purpose for it, guys. But one day I was, <clears throat> listening to some a preacher and he was talking about some great amount of money and it was a pretty large amount and just and different ones talk about it. I'm not focusing just on the money part because that, that is an issue. But what I'm saying is this. The Lord spoke to me and he said, wouldn't you think you were special if someone gave you that much money? Yes, God. So we all can drift there. Pray for these people. The enemy doesn't take good-hearted people, godly good-hearted people, and destroy them over stuff. Whether it's destroying us over our, our you know, and all, a lot of it revolves around self, but it can be marriages, all the way up to the politics, all the way up to the sensationalism of the fame and glory and positions and surreal stuff that maybe God's not in. It's hard to do. That's why it says humble yourselves, guys. That piece is hard. And I'm not talking about the false humility and, you know, because that can be just, that can be just as detrimental. That can be just as, you know, it's in a Bible. I thank God I'm not like them. Clean cup. Full of dead men's bones. Guys, I'm just telling you. 
you may, may, even though we may be his voice, it may be, you know, the wisdom from above. We have to pray about what we're saying, too. It has to be right. It has to be from our heart. It has to be clean, pure, holy, acceptable. And if we err, that's why I put on, that's why I put on there that post. That this is the last thing. That's why I put on there. One of the posts was, nobody died from swallowing their pride. Ever choked on it. You know, we might choke on it because it hurts. But not going to die from it. But yes, we are going to die from it. But the reason why I'm posting some of the stuff that I post, because he told me to plow in the middle. But I mean, some of my posts, there's one guy on there. I'm not going to name his name. I might, but a lot of good scriptures. Awesome. Life's maybe a little messy. Maybe not. <clears throat> but he's pretty, pretty, pretty true. I repost a lot of this stuff. There's another lady that posts some really, really good stuff, but some of it's a little bit out there too. I don't post all of her stuff either. Um, I'm not trying to be the Jesus police. I'm doing the best I can to encourage everybody, but that's what the Lord told me, to encourage people. And then there's some that I post about Charlie Brown and saying how God is awesome and different people are reacting to different things. And, and then there's one that I posted this morning about a, a cat looking at a tablet, a fish, trying to eat the fish. Well, what does that have to do with God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word? Nothing, but it was funny, for one. And it was just kind of, hey, you know. And then I posted one this morning. Kitties, you can vote communism in, but you're going to shoot your way out. Oh, not even be political, honestly, but oh, it's funny, too. But I'm just saying, you know, I'm... I'm seeing that it I do it because it encourages some of these people on their journey, different people, different, I mean, I can just see it. Different people are picking it up. Some are getting encouraged by seeing it. Some are getting encouraged by it being posted. Some are getting encouraged by that they put it out there and people are actually listening. There's just a lot to it, guys, and I'm trying to do what the Lord told me to do, which would be directional, watchman, crying out, hey, 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 there's a storm coming. And at the same time, were his voice and his choice to be his voice and his feet. That's why I've got these books out too, guys. Some of these books had nothing to do with me, but just so just email us at Jesus is alive and at gmail.com. Google us, Jesus is alive in America. You can find us, share with us, blog with us. Um, a lot going on. We love you guys. Talk to you soon.